In England in the middle of the night, three animal rights activists break into the Cambridge Primate Research Centre, where chimps are being experimented on with videos of human rage, violence, and destruction. As the activists start taking pictures, a scientist finds them and rushes to call security. The group stops him just in time and captures him, so the scientist begs them not to do anything because the chimps are infected with a highly contagious and very dangerous virus called rage. However the activists don't take him seriously and release one of the chimps, who immediately attacks and bites a woman with unbound fury before one of the others kills it. While the other chimps go crazy in their cages, the woman begins vomiting blood on the floor and at his friend's face. The scientist says they must kill her, but it's too late, she transforms into a zombie and attacks all the people in the room. 28 days later, Jim wakes up from a coma in an empty hospital. He leaves the room and wanders around looking for people, but he doesn't find a single soul, just chaos everywhere. After grabbing some drinks from a vending machine, he leaves the building to explore London, finding the city in the same condition, no people at all, but lots of destruction. When he finds a newspaper, he learns that Britain has gone through a mass exodus, and on a huge bulletin board he finds thousands of missing people signs. Eventually Jim enters a church, where he finds creepy messages on the walls. When he reaches the main room, he's shocked to see it's full of rotten bodies. He says hello and a few people suddenly move, staring at him with blank faces. At that moment the priest comes out, but he's a zombie and tries to attack Jim, who hits him with his bag full of cans. The priest is unbothered and tries to chase him, so Jim runs away. The other zombies also leave the church and start chasing Jim, who runs as fast as he can until he reaches a gas station. There, survivors Mark and Selena begin throwing Molotov bombs at the zombies to burn them up, and once Jim is safe with them, they throw a bomb at the gas station to blow it up. Afterward the duo takes Jim to their hideout, which is an abandoned sweet shop in the London underground. When Jim tells them he had been in a coma because of a car crash, Selena explains that a highly contagious virus escaped from a research center and continues to spread uncontrollably, turning people into zombies and collapsing British society. Most of the population is now dead or affected, the army was overpowered, and the government doesn't exist anymore. Jim wants to go to his parents' home to check on them and ignores Selena's warnings that they most likely are dead, so she and Mark agree to go with him to stick together. In the morning, the trio carefully makes their way across a very empty London and safely arrive at Jim's old home where a devastated Jim discovers his parents self-deleted to avoid becoming zombies. They even left a note for him saying don't wake up. As Jim cries, Selena and Mark tell him he should be grateful his family died peacefully, because they had to watch their own families become monsters. They spend the night in that house but Jim can't sleep and decides to look at old family videos. The light he's turned on gives his location away and suddenly two zombies jump through the window to attack him. As Jim struggles to defend himself, he screams and gets the attention of Mark and Selena, who immediately jump to action and defeat both creatures with brutal yet efficient ferocity. Then Selena makes sure Jim wasn't bitten and didn't get even a drop of blood in his mouth. Unfortunately the injured one is Mark, whose arm wound is covered with zombie blood. Without hesitation, Selena hacks Mark to death with her machete before announcing they must leave because more zombies will come. After washing up, changing clothes, and gathering all the supplies they can find in the house, Jim and Selena leave the area, and Selena warns Jim that if someone is infected they must be killed immediately, no matter if it's a relative or a friend. Later they see flashing lights coming from an apartment nearby and go to investigate. The building is in a sorry state and the lobby is full of trolleys, but the duo just climbs over them to reach the stairs. There are several floors to climb, and when they stop to take a break, they hear screeching from zombies that have entered the building. They also jump over the trolleys to take the stairs, so Jim and Selena begin climbing faster as the zombies come after them. After going up a few floors, they freeze when they find the way blocked by a man wearing protective gear, who gives them the number and location of his apartment. The guy stays to fight the zombies, stopping them with a shield while he beats them up with a bat. The duo makes it to the apartment, but the girl inside doesn't open the door until the man comes back in one piece. Once everyone is inside, Frank and his daughter Hannah introduce themselves, giving the duo a warm welcome. This is the apartment with all the lights, and Frank is glad his signal has finally brought over some company. The next day, Frank shows Jim all the buckets he has on the roof, explaining that it hasn't rained in a while. Resources get scarcer every day and at this rate they won't be able to stay in this apartment for much longer. Then Frank shows Jim and Selena a repeating military radio broadcast that claims that soldiers are offering other survivors protection outside Manchester and even promising the answer to the infection. Frank wants to travel there but Selena is skeptical, saying it's probably a trap or an old recording that doesn't hold true anymore. Hannah offers a heartful speech and convinces everyone is worth the risk. Then the group takes Frank's taxi to travel to Manchester, taking all the supplies they can carry. As they travel through London, they see all the destruction and the bodies on the streets. When they try to cross a tunnel, the way is blocked by bodies and crashed cars, but Frank decides to just drive through it and push it away. They actually manage to cross the mess, however the car suffers a flat tire in the process. When the group comes out to change the tire, they hear a very weird sound and suddenly see hundreds of rats running toward them, which makes them realize the zombies are coming. 
There's no time to use extra tools, so the adults lift the car while Hannah changes the tire. They can see the shadows of the zombies approaching and soon they're jumping over the crashed vehicles, but the group finishes changing the tire just in time and manages to drive away. Afterward they keep driving for a few hours and when they make it to the countryside, they stop at a burger shack to take gas from an abandoned truck. Curious, Jim decides to enter the building and finds a dead family. Suddenly he's attacked by a zombie child, and he has no choice but to kill him to survive. Then they continue to travel through the countryside, which still looks beautiful. When they stop for dinner, they watch horses run around without a care for the world. Selena admits that this was better than she expected, and even kisses Jim on the cheek. That night, the group stays in an old castle in ruins. Hannah and Jim can't sleep and wake up Selena to ask how she does it, so Selena shares her medicine with them. In the morning, Jim wakes up and discovers he's alone, so he begins panicking. However Frank wakes him up, revealing it was just a dream. The next day, the group resumes their journey and can see Manchester burning in the distance. Eventually they find the blockade from the message, but while there are military trucks and equipment, it's all empty. Selena thinks they should leave, but Frank refuses to admit defeat and continues to search the area. He grows so angry that when he hears a crow nearby, he kicks the wall it's on to make it go away. The crow had been feeding on a zombie and when it moves, it causes a drop of blood to drop into Frank's eye. Knowing what's about to happen, he tells Hannah he loves her and asks her to stay away from him. Hannah still tries to approach him, and as the virus reacts, a furious Frank pushes his daughter away. Then he moves back as he starts transforming, so Selena tells Jim to kill him while she holds Hannah down. Jim doesn't want to hurt a friend and freezes, but luckily they're saved by the sudden arrival of some soldiers who shoot Frank down in seconds. Afterward the soldiers take Jim, Selena, and Hannah to a secured mansion in the woods where a few surviving soldiers have set up a new base, fortifying the place against zombies. The leader Major West welcomes them and offers them food and a shower. Once they've settled down, Hannah is left napping and Selena has a breakdown in front of Jim. He tries to comfort her with a kiss and at first Selena kisses back, but when she realizes what's happening she leaves the room. Then Jim goes to Major West to ask about the answer to the infection that the radio message mentioned. It turns out they don't have a cure, West considers his answer to be all the extra security plans they've installed around the house and the supplies in the kitchen. West also reveals he even has captured a zombie soldier, who is being kept chained up in the mansion's courtyard for study. Jim thinks it's cruel, but West says he wants to learn what it takes to starve a zombie to death, which may be the real answer they need. In the evening, Jim's group has dinner with the soldiers, and they're a bit creeped out by their harsh macho behavior. West wears his full uniform and insults the guy who made dinner for making a mistake, he also assumes Hannah can take over kitchen duties. Suddenly the alarm rings, so all the soldiers run outside to defend the mansion from the incoming zombies. The men quickly get to their assigned positions and open fire, killing dozens of zombies and creating some big explosions with their weaponry that defeat their enemies in just a few minutes without breaking a sweat. When the soldiers come back inside, Mitchell tries to take advantage of Selena, so Jim tries to push him away. Because of his training, Mitchell easily overpowers him, and Sergeant Farrell has to hit him to make him stop. At that moment West arrives and tells everyone to go clean the bodies, then he has a talk with Jim in private. West explains that a few days ago, he found a soldier called Jones about to self-delete because there was no future. To bring back hope, West promised his man he would bring them women to repopulate after starving the zombies to death, that's why he sent out the radio message. Horrified, Jim rushes to grab Hannah and Selena and tries to leave with them, but they're immediately knocked down and captured by the soldiers. Farrell tries to defend them because he disagrees with West's plan too, only to get captured as well. Jim and Farrell are locked up together, and Farrell mentions that the infection couldn't have crossed the seas, so most likely the rest of the world is just fine and they're only quarantining Britain to keep the infection on the island. Hearing this gives Jim hope. In the morning, Mitchell and Jones take the prisoners to the forest to be executed next to a pile of bodies. Farrell calls them out for turning on their own sergeant and an argument ensues, Jones wants to shoot them to make this quick, but Mitchell wants to stab them and enjoy it. A desperate Jones shoots anyway, killing Farrell but also hurting Mitchell in the arm. While Mitchell jumps on Jones to yell at him, Jim uses the chance to disappear. As soon as the soldiers notice they go looking for him, but it turns out Jim has been pretending to be a body on the pile. Then Jim manages to escape by jumping over the wall, leaving his shirt behind. The soldiers see this and decide to leave him be, thinking he can't survive the zombies that wander beyond the walls. As Jim escapes into the woods, he suddenly trips and falls, causing him to look up. To his surprise, he sees a jet flying by, meaning Farrell's theory that the rest of the world is fine is correct. In the mansion, the soldiers want to put Selena and Hannah in pretty dresses to prepare them for a night of breeding. Selena tries to fight against them to no avail, so she changes tactics and kisses a soldier, flirting as she asks him to give them some privacy to change in peace. The soldiers accept and after they leave the room, Selena gives Hannah some of her medicine to make the experience less traumatic for her. The soldier overhears this and rushes back inside, but before he can do anything, they hear the alarm going off again. It turns out Jim is at the blockade and sounding the alarm on purpose. 
Soon West and another soldier arrive and start searching the area, so Jim carefully sneaks around and ambushes the soldier to knock him down. When West realizes his partner is missing, he looks around and finds him dead in his jeep, so he opens fire without aim just in case. Then he tries to leave in the jeep but it's been disabled, and at that moment a zombie jumps on top of the vehicle. West immediately shoots him down before coming out of the jeep to also kill all the other incoming zombies. Once he's done, he runs back to the mansion. Meanwhile Jim also returns to the mansion and with the weapon he stole from the jeep, he frees the chain zombie, who immediately jumps through the window to attack the soldiers guarding the girls. While Selena uses the chance to drag Hannah away, the zombie vomits blood on a soldier and then starts chasing after Jones. The first soldier now becomes a zombie as well. Selena and Hannah try to leave the house, only to be blocked by Mitchell. Suddenly Jones runs by with a zombie behind him, so Mitchell sends a soldier after them while he takes care of the girls. Jones manages to hide in the kitchen and when the zombie is about to get him, Mitchell's friend appears to shoot him, only to be jumped on by the new zombie and get infected too. Jim happily watches all this through the window, and inside a cupboard, Jones cries because he can't help. After the zombies leave, Jones tries running away, however Jim finds him and kills him on the spot. Then Jim goes inside a secret door to hide from the zombies, who take the stairs instead. Upstairs, Hannah manages to run away from Mitchell and enters the changing room to find a picture of her dad among her things. When she hears a zombie coming, she hides behind a mirror just in time. The zombie gets confused by his own reflection and leaves. Back to Jim, he runs around the mansion looking for the girls and enters a room where he finds a soldier hiding because he has no bullets. Jim ignores his begging for help and jumps out the window, leaving the soldier to be eaten by the zombies. By running the roof, Jim sees the room where Mitchell is about to take advantage of Selena and enters through the window. Mitchell immediately takes Selena hostage, but Jim still jumps on him and makes him let go of Selena before attacking him quite furiously. Mitchell doesn't get to struggle much before Jim smashes his head against the wall and then throws him on the floor to crush his eyes. Horrified by this violence, Selena grabs her machete and almost kills Jim thinking he's a zombie too, but her hesitation allows Jim to prove he's fine and the two of them kiss. Suddenly Hannah hits Jim with a vase, also thinking he's infected. Thankfully Jim is fine and the trio immediately runs out of the building, but when they approach Frank's taxi, they find West inside. Saying he wants revenge for his men, West shoots Jim, so Hannah quickly drives the taxi backward into the building. The previously chained zombie breaks the back window and drags West out to get his own revenge, and Hannah immediately takes off picking up Jim and Selena on her way out while the zombie kills West. The gates that surround the mansion are locked, but Hannah just drives through them anyway. Jim's memories of what happens afterward are blurry, but he remembers Selena giving him CPR in a hospital and begging him to live. 28 days later, it's shown that the trio has been living in a cottage in the countryside. Selena has been working hard on sewing lots of fabric and when they hear a plane fly by, the trio rushes outside with the fabric, revealing she made giant letters that spell hello. The plane sees this and turns around to rescue them, 